G'day all, I'm Sharpie101 and you're probably wondering what's a drone and how do you build one? So as you can see I have a few drones set up to show you for an example but let's start with the basics first. Alrighty, here we have the three basic drones, the Atmo which is fantastic on atmospheric planets like Earth-like, Alien or even Pertam where we are now. The Ion is fantastic for space as they're really inefficient and really ineffective thrusters. The Hydro Drone is fantastic for extra weighted drones like cargo drones or payload drones, specifically for their thrusters being so effective and so powerful. So how exactly do you build a drone and what do they all need? Well, they all need a thruster or two in all six of those directions. That would be up, down, left, right, forwards and backwards. They also need a source of power depending on which one of these you choose and what it will run off, either uranium, electricity only or ice turned into hydrogen and then turned into electricity they all need a remote block obviously a gyro or two and an antenna so you can remotely access it via your person ship or base nice and easily so what can a remote block actually do well let's remotely access one via its terminal and antenna just like so and scroll down this list and explain from here you can tell whether it's going to be in the terminal or not just like so so now it's gone and now it's back in the toolbar config you can show it whether it's going to be in your g menu when you control this drone the name of it nice and easy whether it's going to show up on the hud but the antenna will anyway custom data for scripting etc and now you've got these little settings here including main remote control but these will allow this remote control and the drone to have access to its thrusters, gyros, or if it's going to fight the planetary gravity and slow itself down. If you were to control it, you know that little bar that comes up that shows if it's level or how high you are? This can show whether that is on or not. The main remote control, like this little button just here, will allow you to switch between one remote control and another on the same drone depending on their different purposes or tasks. The control obviously allows you to control that drone and scrolling down further you'll know that the autopilot is greyed out. That's for the fact we haven't told it to do anything yet but we'll get there in just a moment. The assigned camera is if you had a camera on the front, bottom or any side of it it would automatically jump to that camera instead of you controlling it via this button here and then going into its own terminal to view that camera. It would automatically view that camera straight away if assigned already. Moving down slowly, we've got the flight mode. These ones here, the circle, will just go to and from and just repeat the entire sequence of GPS waypoints you have here. The patrol is very similar to the circle, except it will actively seek enemies, but then continue on its given path continuing on its route. The direction will obviously be which direction it flies in and scrolling down we've got the speed limit obviously that's how fast it will fly and then moving into the GPS points in what you can do in your world are right here. Every single one that you've created in your world will be on this list nice and easily. As you can see I've got my circle of protection tower in the background behind me which takes a lot of GPS locations. But that's in my episode 3 tutorial, so make sure you go and check that one out. Moving into each of these drones individually, let's start with the Atmo drone. So obviously we've got all the thrusters in all six of those directions. Make sure you have the one facing up as the remote block's autopilot really doesn't like having to use the planetary gravity to force its way towards the surface as it'd much rather use its own thruster to do it itself. On top of that, we've got some extra thrusters on the bottom of it to counteract the drone's weight or its cargo weight in the future. On top of that, we've got the normal stuff like the gyros, the remote block and the antenna. So moving on to the ion drone, this normally works in space as it's very ineffective on planets and in gravity. We've got it running on the uranium from the reactor that's fed through the connector and the conveyors at the back. This drone has only got two thrusters in each of those six directions 
as once again it doesn't have to fight any planetary gravity. Moving on to something a little more complex and a little bit more stronger and more powerful is this hydro drone that I have using this connection as a storage for more ice to make it last a bit longer. But what it will do is that it will turn that ice into hydrogen to store in the actual tanks but also to this engine to power and run the whole thing itself. Very simply, very easily, this is a great thing for cargo drones or payload drones, things that are heavy. Placing GPS markers is very easy and there's two ways to do it I'll show you right now. Go to the position with your character or your drone while you're in control of it. Go into your player's or drone's terminal into the GPS and go new from current position. From there you'll want to name it whatever you want. For example, in this tutorial I'll be just using the number one. And the second method, if I'll move over here and just go into your chat by pressing enter, forward slash GPS space and your name itself which will be two again. Just like so, nice and easy, there's one, there's two. Hopefully you should now know what a drone is and how to build your own. So let's give them some jobs to do. Let's go into its terminal and into its remote block just nice and easy. Give it a one-way flight mode so it will go through your GPS list you've marked out here and then turn its autopilot off automatically. Let's add those GPS points we want it to actually do. I've got one just over my right shoulder about 100 meters away. I'll add that one like so. And then that GPS point one. Just nice and easy, that's all we want it to do. Let's get the autopilot to turn on and watch the magic. With this, I do have collision avoidance off, as I normally do, especially when you are docking, as it cannot dock if collision avoidance is on. So let's quickly get rid of this, as this will be in its way, you'll know very shortly. Just like so. You may notice it did overshoot and that's because by default the speed set on that remote block is always set to 100. There you go, nice and easy, nice and simple. Okay, so let's do that again but with some slight changes for better flight stability. Let's go into its remote control just like so and change it to circle. Its speed limit down to 10 as even more so these thrusters are much more powerful than the other two. And let's add three GPS points this time instead of two. Here we go. One, two, and three. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Let's go up to its autopilot and turn it on and watch the magic. This time, let's follow it by locking onto it with my character. Here it comes up to the actual tutorial distance check I made off camera. And here it will come back down to those two GPS's that we made earlier and then repeat on a cycle over and over again. Come on down here. There we go and off it goes again. It will do that continuously until you tell it to stop or to turn its autopilot off. If I wanted it to stop where it is now I'd come over here so it would be nice and easy for me to find the hydro drone Go into its terminal, into the remote block, and turn its autopilot off. I'm able to do that for the fact that I have an antenna on this drone, so I can connect to it like so, or even control it. So just remember when making drones, simplicity is key. So more thrusters, weapons, armor, or any unnecessary blocks will also mean extra weight that may or may not be needed, so keep them nice and mobile. On a side note as well, drones will also need a lightweight yet self-sufficient and efficient power source that can be refilled easily or automatically. Stay tuned till next week where we'll be getting into docking these drones using connectors and merge blocks and what can be triggered at each GPS mark plus much much more. If you like this video then smash that like and subscribe for more. But if you think I've missed anything, please throw a comment my way as I'm sure to add it into next week's drone tutorial. Stay sharp till then and thank you for watching as always. Obviously with this one the thrusters are much more powerful. So even so with it slowed down it is still too fast to reach that nice and easy.
Here it comes again. Ooh. 